Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna do another songwriting video. If you did not recognize the artist in the thumbnail, it is Taylor Swift. We are gonna write a Taylor Swift type song. And we're gonna do it in the style of the songs that she did on her Folklore album. So, uh, let's go ahead and get into it. I'm sure everybody's familiar with Taylor Swift. Um, she's a, an amazing songwriter. She's one of the biggest pop stars in the world. And we're gonna try to write a song as if we were her. I think this will be pretty fun. I think this is more in my element of like what I like to do. Um, it's very much acoustic, laid back. And I think when I think of Taylor Swift as a songwriter, I think that she's like, she's a person that's really big into storytelling and uh, just creative writing. So I'm thinking like, okay, I'm stepping into this creative writing class and we have so much leeway to kind of uh, go any type of direction that we want to. And that's the thing about writing a song such as this one compared to like writing like a top 40 pop song is that the pop songs like the the top 40 songs are very very calculated and you, sometimes you have to stay in this little bubble of relatability um, so that the words don't actually go over people's heads but with a folk type of song you can kind of go as far as you want to creatively and people can interpret the song in whichever way that they want to interpret it. So I found this beat on YouTube. Um, this is by, and I'm sorry, I don't know how to pronounce these names. Moneyo. I don't know if that's right. <laughs> I'm just guessing it's spelled M-O-N-E-O. -E Shout out to you. It has over 20,000 views, so it's actually a really popular Beat. So let's just listen to it and kind of get a vibe of what we want to do musically with this one. Verse one is pretty short. Verse two is pretty long. So it's a little bit longer than I think it's double the first verse, so I'll keep that in mind. Then it goes back to that pre-hook, which means we can go ahead and repeat that pre-hook that we write in the first verse. Then there's the hook. Which, well, the hook is very short, actually. Um, and then there's a verse, possibly a bridge or an outro at the very end, so we can kind of do whatever with that. Um, so that's pretty much the beat. I hate calling that a beat because it's more of just the the music, the production. So I like when you have those chord changes, it kind of guides me on like where I want to take it, especially with the melody, because it's like once you have chords, you're going to follow those chords. Let's go ahead and do what we always do, which is we do a melody run through. Like I said, a lot of the times I'm going to use the melodies that I that I use in the in the run through. Yes, I may go back um, when I'm recording. Sometimes cre your creativity never really stops when you're you're writing songs. So like once I'm starting to record, yes, I may in the moment want to change something. But for the most part, I am taking what I do on my voice notes and I am like creating the song off of that. Let's do another run through of that because like I said, the, the first verse is really short. 
So when I was doing it, I was kind of going over and then it went into the uh, pre-hook. So let's just kind of do that again, keeping in mind of how long that is for the first verse and let's go ahead and do it. Thinking uh, shadows. Um, okay, so um, so lately I've been reading about you know spirituality and things like that, and a topic that I've been kind of reading lately is about shadow work. Shadow work is basically just acknowledging the darker sides of your personality. Um, your trauma, you acknowledge it and you heal from it and it's called doing shadow work. Um, so as I'm thinking, this is coming to my mind um, of like the shadows inside you is mirroring the shadows inside of me. So basically saying that our the dark side of our ourselves is actually the same. So we can't, you know, we can't really judge each other because we're the same person almost, or we have the same flaws. The shadows in you mirrors the shadows in me. Ooh. I just gotta get the timing on that. That's the hook. So let's go back a little bit. Um, the hook is very short. Um, so let's just go back and kind of listen to the verses again. And then let's listen to what we did on our melodies to kind of get an idea of what, where we're going with this. Okay. I like that because it's still kind of catchy. That na 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 na. So now I just have to write some words that fit in with that. <clears throat> Riding by the monsters in my bed, tossing from the nightmares in my sleep. You only exist in my dreams when I wake up, I face reality. Judge, I'm quite the same. Um, I like the beginning. <laughs> let me um, let me go ahead and like fix that a little bit. Frightened by the monsters in my bed, tossing from the nightmares in my sleep. You only exist in my dream. You only exist. You only exist. Something about that, I'm not liking that. Mm, it sounds a little bit off. Um, let me just change the words a bit. Um, only exist. Let's do you exist only in my dream. So I'm like, something about that, I'm not liking the way that those two words flow. When I wake, I face reality. Who am I to judge? I'm quite the same. That's gonna now be the pre-hook since the verse is so short. When I wake, I face reality. Who am I to judge? I'm quite the same. Frightened by the monsters in my bed. Tossing from the nightmares in my sleep. You exist only in my dreams. 
When I wake, I face reality. Who am I to judge? I'm quite the same. Reaching for the hands of my twin flame, we can burn together. The shadows in you mirrors the shadows. myself a little pat in the back real quick frightened by the monsters in my bed tossing from the nightmares in my sleep you exist only in my dreams when I wake I face reality who am I to judge I'm quite the same Reaching for the hand of my twin flame, we can burn together. The shadows in you mirrors the shadows in me. So the second verse is a little bit longer than the first. I think I want to give it a little more of a pop movement to it um, that's very Taylor like. I'm just writing so much stuff <laughs> and I don't even know if this is going to fit, but I'm, I'm trying to think in the mind of Taylor and I'm just writing a whole bunch of stuff. Probably a lot of it I can just cut out, but I'm trying to get that storytelling vibe of something that she would say. Um, so I'm not even going to sing it. I'm just going to keep writing. <laughs> Told you scary stories about a lie. What if I told you that my biggest fear was losing you? What if I told you that you got caught in the ring with her one day? She made you call me just the way you like and told you a scary stories about a life. Um, I don't like that. Let's play again. What if I told you that you, What if I told you that I know about the time you got caught in the rain with her one day and she made you coffee just the way what if i told you i know that um how did i want to sing that what if i told you i know you got caught in the rain with her one day she made you coffee just the way you like and told you stories about her childhood what if I told you I know you got caught in the rain with her one day? She made you coffee just the way you like. What if I told you I know you got caught in the rain with her one day? What if I told you I know you got caught in the rain with her one day? She made you coffee just the way you like and told you and told you scary stories about her childhood. It was back. What if I told you that I'd do the same? It was back in November. Back in November with the guy on the train. Okay, listen to that again. I know you got caught. I know about the time. No, no, no. <laughs> What if I told you I know you got caught in the rain with her one day? She made you coffee just the way you like and told you scary stories about her chat. She made you coffee just the way you like and told you scary stories about her childhood. Okay. So it was back in November with the guy on the train. I left trails of tears on my pillowcase that you wiped away. So they're kind of back in this bed scene. Um, so that way we can go back into. Um, when I wake, I face reality. Who am I to judge? I'm quite the same. We're gonna have to figure out how I wanna sing this. And the melody that I wrote was a little bit complicated. So I'm having to go back and listen to that <laughs> to kind of remember what I did. What if I told you I know you got caught in the rain with her one day? She made you coffee just the way you like and told you scary stories about her childhood. 
What if I told you that I did the same? It was back in November with a guy on the train. I left trails of tears on my pillowcase that you wiped away. When I wake, I face reality. Who am I to judge? I'm quite the same. Reaching for the hands of my twin flame, we can burn together. The shadows in you, mirrors the shadows in me. Okay, let's start from the beginning. Frightened by the monsters in my bed. Tossing from the nightmares in my sleep You exist only in my dreams When I wake, I face reality Who am I to judge? I'm quite the same Reaching for the hands of my twin flame We can burn together The shadows in you mirrors the shadows in me. What if I told you I know you got caught in the rain with her one day? She made you coffee just the way you like And told you scary stories about her childhood What if I told you that I did the same? It was back in November with a guy on the train I left trails of tears on my pillowcase that you wiped away When I wake, I face reality Who am I to judge? I'm quite the same Reaching for the hands of my twin flame We can burn together All right, I really like that. I think I'm going to change possibly the melody on I love trails of tears on my pit I love trails of tears on my pillowcase that you wiped away. I think I'm going to sing it like that. And then we can burn forever instead of together on the second preview. Thank you guys so much for watching again. I hope that you enjoyed this songwriting session. Like this video. Give me a thumbs up. Spread the word about my channel. Um, I was told that what I'm doing is very unique. So just spread the word about this channel if you're actually enjoying these songwriting videos. Also, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I appreciate every subscription. Thank you guys so, so much. And I hope you enjoy the final recording. Bye.
shadows in you mirror the shadows in me the shadows in you Only in